What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Michael. I hope everybody is having an awesome day out there and staying healthy, staying happy in the midst of these crazy times we're in, hugging their loved ones. But anyways, I'm a huge Eminem fan. I really enjoy his music. I think he has the best lyrical flow out of any artist and I think the, po the masses and the population would agree with me. We saw how famous he was and still is to this day. So I got this recommendation to check out Eminem Criminal. So, there is a music video for it, but it looked like a collage of clips, so I would rather just focus on the lyrics, kind of deep dive into what he's saying, because man, you gotta listen to Eminem for his lyrics, that's what he's known for, that lyrical flow. But, drop a like, let's get into it. A lot of people ask me stupid fucking questions. A lot of people think that what I say on record, or what I talk about on the record, that I actually do in real life, or that I believe in it. Or if I say that I want to kill somebody, that I'm actually going to do it, or that I believe in it. Well, shit, <laughs> you believe that, then I'll kill you. <laughs> you know why? Because I'm a criminal! <laughs> What a great transition right there, but I mean, just to kind of speak about that opening part real quick, how true is that? As people say in Lion's expression, he's not actually going to do it. I mean, some people they do have intent to do that, but we live in a time where literally you can't have an opinion. You really can't. People you take your words literally this and that, yada, yada, yada. Now, granted, we do need to reframe some from some of our vocabulary, some of what we say, but at the same time, he's right. That opening 40 seconds is completely right. What happened to the ability to have freedom of speech? Last time I checked, that's the freedom that I have as an American in this country, not getting political, but that's something that needs to be addressed. Now, obviously, there needs to be filtered down on that, but I mean, then, you know, just 40 seconds in, just drop the truth. Criminal. With a jagged edge, it'll stab you in the head. Whether you're a fag or less, that a homosex, a map or a trans affairs, pants or dress, hate fags, the answer's yes. Homophobic, nah, you just heterophobic. Staring in my jeans, watching my genitals folding. That's my motherfucking walls, you better let go of them. They belong in my squad, you'll never get hold of them. Hey, it's me, Versace. What? Somebody shot me, and I was just checking the mail. Get it? Checking the mail? How many records you expect in a cell after your second LP sends you directly to jail? Come on, relax, guy. I like it, man. So I've never heard of this song. Definitely, definitely a weird song. I know he kind of gets into the homophobic aspect. We saw that in, um, oh gosh, Rap God, I think it was. But these are just kind of lyrics that, you know, I don't really want to listen to a whole bunch. More so because, you know, like, I'm listening to music for positivity. You know, but within that positivity, there is a truth aspect, and that's extremely important. And I think this is one of these, like, touchy points that you have to be very mindful of what you say, you know, but understanding that you still have your ability to speak freely. Please, Lord, this boy needs Jesus. Heal his child, help us destroy these demons. Oh, please send me a brand new car and a prostitute while my wife's sick in the hospital. Preacher, preacher, fifth grade teacher. You can't reach me, my mom can't neither. You can't teach me a goddamn thing because I watch TV and Comcast cable. And you ain't able to stop these thoughts. Cigarettes of speed, the baby came out, this figured like a mince indeed. It was a seed who would grow up just as crazy as she. Don't dare make fun of that baby, cause that baby was me. I'm a criminal, an animal case to turn crazed. But how the fuck you supposed to grow up when you weren't raised? Wow man, how are you supposed to grow up when you weren't raised? That's so true. What? And that's what I like about Eminem. He's rapping about his story, 
He has a unique flair, and that's why people like him. But how are you supposed to grow up if you're in a race? That's so true. But at the same time, you know, that's just what it is. You know, anyways, can somebody let me know what's the, like, the, kind of the background of this song? A lot of songs have motivation or, you know, thoughts. Was it, like, a concert that went bad or was it a bad interview that he kind of responded with this? Because I know Eminem's style is he kind of responds to stuff that's going on through his music. Was Did something specifically happen that made him write this song or was this just simply... He wanted to convey some thoughts on paper. Let me know below, please. So as I got older and I got a lot taller, my dick shrunk smaller, but my balls got larger. I drink more liquor to fuck you up quicker than you'd want to fuck me up for saying the word. My morals went when the president got moral. Sex in his awful office on top of his desk, off of his own employee. Now don't ignore me, you won't avoid me. You can't miss me. I'm white, blonde hair, and my nose is pointy. I'm the bad guy who makes fun of people that die in plane crashes and laughs as long as it ain't happening to him. Slim Shady, I'm as crazy as him, and him and Kim combined. The maniacs in place of the doctor, cause Dre couldn't make it today. He's a little under the weather, so I'm taking his place. Oh, that's Dre, but an AK to his face. Don't make me kill him too, and spray his brains all over the place. I told you, Dre, you should've kept that thing put away. I guess that'll teach you not to let me play with it. Eh? <laughs> Alright, look, just go up in that motherfucker. Get the motherfucking money and get the fuck up out of here. All right. I'll be right here waiting on you. All right. Yo, M. What? Don't kill nobody this time. All right. Uh-huh. How you doing? How can I help you? Yeah, I need to make a withdrawal. Okay. Put the fucking money in the bag, bitch, and I won't kill you. What? Oh, my God. I'm boy. not going to kill you, bitch. Just look in the room. Don't kill me. I said I'm not going to fucking kill you. Hurry the fuck up. Thank you. Windows tinted on my ride when I drive in it. So when I rob a bank, run out and just dive in it. So I be disguised in it. And if anybody identifies the guy in it, I hide for five minutes. Come back, shoot the eyewitness. Fire at the private eye. Hide the pride of my business. Die, bitches, bastards, brass pets. This puppy's lucky I didn't blast his ass yet. Dang. Definitely, definitely very, very dark. You know, thoughts that are coming out, this and that. But in the sense of reality is, who doesn't have dark thoughts? You know, we try to rationalize what's normal, what's not. But, I mean, this is crazy. But the, the, what makes it crazy is he's portraying it out in the public versus what we see in our own, you know, homes and this and that and the own thoughts that we have in our head, which is crazy. But, oh, my gosh, this is it's a definitely unique style that I haven't heard from Eminem. You know, I think it's, he likes to push the, you know, he likes to push the bubble and see how far he can get away with it. This is extending going past that, and we're seeing a whole, di well, I'm seeing a different side of Eminem and his rap. You know, I hadn't heard this song before, mainly heard more of his modern songs that he's come out with, some of, you know, we'll just call it like mid-career songs, but this has to be from his early stages of his career. That's the assumption that I'm making. Can somebody please let me know when this song was made? I know I wanted to, somebody to expand on the background behind this song or what not, but... <laughs> Anyway. If I ever gave a fuck, I shave my nuts, tuck my dick in between my legs and cluck. You motherfucking chickens ain't brave enough to say the stuff I say, so just tape it shut. Should have to shit I say, I just make it up to make you mad. So kiss my white naked ass. And if it's not a rapper that I make it as, I'ma be a fucking rapist and a Jason Mask. I'm a criminal. So every time I write a rhyme, these people think it's a crime. They tell me what's on my mind. I guess I'm a criminal. But I don't gotta say a word, I just quit in the burn and keep going. I don't take shit from no one, I'm a criminal. Every time I write a rhyme, these people think it's a crime to tell them what's on my mind. I guess I'm a criminal. I don't gotta say a word. I just split in the bird and keep going. I don't take shit from no one. I'm a criminal. Every time I write a rhyme, these people think it's a crime to tell them what's on my mind. I guess I'm a criminal. I don't gotta say a word. I just split in the bird and keep going. I don't take shit from no one. I'm a criminal. Every time I write a rhyme, these people think it's a crime to tell them what's on my mind. I guess I'm a criminal. I don't gotta say a word. I just split in the bird and keep going. I don't take shit from no one. I'm a criminal. Anyways, I had a little interruption right there, but what an interesting song to say the least. Thank you for this recommendation. It was a very unique dark side of Eminem that I haven't really seen based off his music. Very, very unique lyrical content. You know, saying that stuff now would probably be a lot more explosive and different than when it was, you know, released. Probably got quite a bit of backlash for this song, but then there's probably people who respected him and understand that, you know, thoughts like this do occur to some people, which, you know, the normalcy of that is a whole different topic. But anyways, like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you'd like me to react to.
Turn on those bell notifications so you never miss a video. And as always, stay healthy, stay happy, and have a blessed day. Peace.